Hi friends, fellow African diaspora, you are most welcome. This is Make Africa Great. Uh, my fellow African diaspora, I have received the letter uh, from one of my subscribers, the letter, an imaginary letter to uh, founding fathers of the great continent of Africa. And uh, I'm here to read that uh, uh, letter. Uh, the letter. Uh, the heading of the letter is the state of Africa, and the letters read as follows. Dear Kwame Nkuluma, dear Thomas Sankara, dear Julius Kambala Genyerere, dear Patti Semi Lilumumba, a copy to our founding fathers of the great continent of Africa, Professor Pielo Lumumba, Dr. Arikana Chomboikwao, Julius Selomalema, and a copy, uh, also copy to uh, the African youth, copy to African African president, refer to the uh, state of Africa. The Osage for Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, you asked Africa in the year 1963 to unite and have one army, one currency, one central bank, and one passport. I'm writing this short note to tell you the state of Africa. Africa has one army, a strong army that protects her from the exploiters with a ferocious appetite for her resources. We have one currency and I have and I can move from Tanzania, that country of your great friend Julius Kambalagi Nyerere, to the country of Patis Emil Lumumba and move downstairs to that country of Jomo Kenyatta and even downstairs to the country of Kenneth Kaunda of Zambia and I can use one passport and one currency. Africa have learned the sciences and technology as you ask Thomas Sankara, the applied man that died before his time. I can now report to you that Africa is ahead of the game in science and technology. We are no longer waiting for Europe and America or China to show us the way and now we can use uh, the knowledge of science to produce food we can pronounce. Africa is united and she is a quite economic independence in addition to political independence. The neo-colonial project has no root in Africa. Kwame, I can assure you. Our readers are no longer misleading us and they have provided leadership because they are all are anonymous that leadership in the mother's milk of sustainable development as said by the great Kenyan professor uh, P.L. Lumumba. Our readers are ahead of the game when it comes to fighting against corruption. They have also built schools and well-equipped hospitals. Even when, uh, even when they fall sick, they go to those schools with doctors that are trained in Africa. Their children can attend the great schools they have built because Africa school and university are no longer rival towers. Africa is no longer polluting her environment and the weight and then wait for some NGOs from Europe and America to come and do so, uh, do some environmental projects because Africa is alive to the fact that she is already uh, related with NGOs. Africa is united in their one, uh, and their unit is, and the Africa is united in our unit as you said, Kwame is our strength. Sadly, all the above. Kwame, Thomas Sankara, Nyelele, uh, Kenyatta, uh, Pachisemili, Lumumba has only happened in the enlightening speech that our readers give in funerals and weddings. It's except some few countries such as Rwanda, Tanzania, Botswana and Ethiopia and some countries we have seen some changes on the ground things are different 
Africa is United and doing fine only on social media. Uh, the African youth is, have great ideas that have not left the WhatsApp group, groups and the Facebook comment sections. Now Africa is in the business of silencing our voices of reason. If it is not a Professor Pierre Lomba being denied entry, uh, then it is a representative at the AU that is fired for speaking too much truth. And if not, then it is an artist that is arrested for speaking truth uh, to the readers and the misleaders. Bantu Biko was right, the most potential weapons or weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. Our oppressors have our minds and they have pushed a narrative that portray Africa as the center of the global antagonism and the catastrophic horrible and there is a sense in which our mind are platonically defaulted to propagate horrible. Young Africans are learning away from Africa as the, as the Chinese and other civilization come to Africa with supersonic speed. And if not young Africans learning away, they are going to Europe or China to take picture with, uh, with the skyscrapers of China or America at the ground. The Facebook status now matters more to young Africans than the state of Africa. On WhatsApp or WhatsApp group and the Facebook comment section, the youth are always in the mood of Belkos Jingozin, but this happens only when they are cajoled by the truth by the true state of Africa. But it is appear we are the you with the youth but it appears we the youth the youth is of Nessia we forget that Africa need us and if it is not memes blinding us to reality the, then it is cheap grade B soap operas or some English football match. If it is Africa's young ladies, their picture on social media are never complete without showing uh, their behinds. Truly, we are behind. If it is a young man, their goal is to get six packs and they are aware that Africa have, has lost six decades that she need to catch up. Why China? in the America. While China and the America are developing with slaying machines, the only slaying things Africa has produced are slay queen and king. The few young Africans that are restless and making waves through innovation and the mixture of other programs are denied the con constant. flow and supply of oxygen for the idea. Kwame, Sankala, Nyelele, uh, Patisemi Lumumba, I have written a long letter to you. I hope it gets to you in time. This is just a short note prepared for you, uh, preparing you for the letter on the way. Africa is united only in the Bericos speeches gives given at the funeral or wedding or when our readers go to the for the photo session to Europe, China, America or Russia. So fellow African that is the letter from uh, uh, from my subscribers, fellow Africans who love Africa and they uh, will not uh, name uh, or mention his name here but that is an imaginary letter from uh, one of our pan-Africanist friends. So please give your comments, 
give your opinion with fellow Afghans and share this video. Our aim is to make Africa great. We want to have better Africa. Africa with the uh, with Africa, you know, is the greatest continent, and the, the only way to make Africa great is to unite we as Africans to share our ideas, not only on social media, also in our home place. You know, we say that charity begins at the home. We must begin in our home place, uh, supporting each other, we as Africans, love each other, uh, and make sure that better things has been done in our continent. We see the future of Africa is good because Africa, we have a lot of opportunities that are found in Africa. Let us encourage our young people not to learn away from Africa. Let us encourage our, our readers uh, and support them and tell them how uh, the people want to be, how Africa want to be. Please, readers, we respect you. You are our, you are, you, you are our reader and we love you. And let us read us to, the, to make Africa great. Let us be our vision. Africa to have enough food, Africa to have enough power, Africa to have enough enough uh, 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 also with the well equipped machines and the medicine, to have a good school that we teach our young people, and the, that school must have uh, African syllabus, not the, the syllabus of European, because the environment is different. And we, that is our, our, our vision. We want to see better Africa. And I hope better Africa is coming. So, fellow Africans, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share our video. Thank you.